When you first look at Microcosmos number 21, you may think it's a little bit of a step backwards to some of the easier pieces that we were playing earlier in the semester. For instance, if you look at the first phrase, the first eight measures of the piece, you'll notice that both hands are playing in unison. They're playing exactly the same thing, just two octaves apart. And there's no change of hand position that we have in either the left hand or the right hand. Once we set that hand position at the beginning of the piece, we get to play it through the entire 16 measures of the piece. We don't change hand positions once. But if you look a little bit more carefully, there are some things that are going to be challenging for us. And this piece is, is a little bit more challenging than it at first appears. First of all, take a look at the metronome marking up here, the tempo marking up here. Quarter note equals 130. That is a pretty brisk tempo. That's one of the faster tempos that we've had to deal with, especially for a piece that has a lot of quarter notes, as this piece does. Second of all, the second phrase starting here in the second measure of the of the second line. The second phrase is always trickier than people think it's going to be. There's actually a significant amount of hand independence in this in the second phrase and everything is happening so fast at that that tempo of quarter note equals 130 that you really need to give these last eight measures some extra attention. There's also a new musical symbol that we're going to see. And that's this triangle looking symbol like this that you see all over the place in this piece. And that symbol is the symbol for an accent. And when we talk about an accent in music, we're talking about giving a note a little bit of extra emphasis. Sometimes that means to play it a little bit louder with a little bit more weight but that's what an accent is. It means play that note with a little bit more emphasis. For instance, let me just play the first four notes for you. And let's, let's start by pretending that this accent wasn't here. tried to play all the notes as evenly as possible. Now let me play this passage with the accents, and I'm going to overdo it just a little bit, but, but just to give you the idea. And you can achieve that accent by, by just throwing a little bit more weight into those notes on the piano. So make sure that as, as one of the musical details that we start to incorporate, make sure that you're paying attention to that accent symbol and, and accenting those notes that have it. <laughs> 